If you want to be my friend, sing it, Andrew. You would better, better go and get a pen. Or you're better than Will Ferrell. Maybe we can keep it in touch. You're better than Conan O'Brien. Like we did in the old days. It wasn't so long ago. Okay, keep going. You got it. You got it. You guys, this is a lot. It is a lot. You're right. In the middle is a tough spot to be. Find your pen. Wow. We could do it again. Wow. Do you want to oh, do it again? No, I don't want to no, do it again. Oh, no. He said <laughs> that was a lot. Did, I feel no, like he actually being, said we could so, do it again. Well, no, he we said could. We could do it again. On. That's just we're just wasting airtime. Oh, I don't know about I that. I mean, it's your podcast. We don't even we have could, airtime. We, this isn't a real we show. We can just play the this thing over and over. This never goes out. Again. Yeah, <laughs> we don't even know if this will be released. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I get it's it. an intervention. I get it. Yeah, well, you're not the first person to try. Yeah, I know. Okay. It was a lot. I didn't realize I was singing it. I thought you guys sang it, and then you're like, "Here's our guest." And not, not you sing, sing, goddamn it! I didn't know it was gonna be like that. <laughs> well, hold like, on. I don't want to pull the curtain back. We don't, we don't do that. Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> well, Take the Lord's name sense. in vain. I got sweaty already. That's pretty quick. Yeah, we get we start <laughs> sweaty. Yeah, dude. It's we start room. sweaty. Yeah, Rory's got here. a treadmill. Out I have there. a that's why I have a treadmill out there, nice. and one of those rowing things from House of Cards. <laughs> Hey, um, buddy. I don't know why that tickled me so much, but it did. House of Cards. You, uh, um, yeah, folks, you don't like my hair? You keep telling me to fix it. I keep telling you to put it up more, and you keep putting only part of it up. I don't really care about it. Perfect. I mean, I do care about it, but also I don't at the same time. I think it I looks like good. It. looks whimsical. Yeah. Put a little product in it. Mm-hmm. Get out there and live my life. You going full moose? Uh, I don't do a moose. I maybe should you don't have do anything in it right now, do you? Yeah, I've got the you know like the molding paste. Yeah, which doesn't yeah. sound that doesn't sound like good. But the word mold in anything kind of can turn you off. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Is there a good mold? Well, I think all I mean, of it. The mold in terms something. of molding something. And isn't in penicillin the, made the, from mold? In the porn industry, a mold is like a high honor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The mold of your. Go on. I don't know what you the rules are it. here. No, there's no rules. Cock. Whoa! See, what? Hold on. We just told you don't take the Lord's <laughs> name in vain. Now you're over here throwing the C yeah. word around. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Nethers. <laughs> have you ever seen one? No, they have like those whole Phallic kits. region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you can do your own? Yeah, you could do your own. Wouldn't have that be crazy? It? No, but... Wait, you could make your own? Yeah, you make a, a thing yeah, yeah. Where you, you make a mold of your own. Ah, hello, so, Christmas gift! <laughs> I, used to, I used to work at, at a music venue, and, uh, you know, you have all different bands come through, and Buck Cherry came through, and one of their merch was they made a mold of the guy's penis, and they sold it as dildos <laughs> at, the, uh, at the show. I'd buy that. And they would sell out all I'd the time. Of course, it'd, it'd be did. like couple, like redneck so couples, be like, "Babe, sure. get me that." I was like, "Oh shit!" Without yes. telling us the price, in case you remember, Rory, what do you think? What would you charge the dildo from Buck Cherry your, or your own? What would be? What's the going price on us performers mold? I of mean, his nether. Would I sell mine at? But my price point is at yeah. my shows. Yeah, what would you? Fifty bucks. I think fifty two. Do you know what they're fifty two? You think fifty two dollars? This was yes, of course. So it's awkward. So it's well, a weird. I got to cover weird tax. Exchange. I got to cover tax. I want to say it was like forty, but this was like twelve years ago. So oh, you know that's yeah. forty. After, yeah, you know, after what Biden's done to the country, yeah. it's yeah. gone you know. yeah. <laughs> Buck Cherry. Dildo prices are outrageous. Now. Outrageous, <laughs> right? Um, now. Daniel, do you want to introduce our guest to to all the the people out there listening? Of course, guys. The voice uh, you have heard, who didn't really sing, but that's what's here. I, right I did do like a note. Let's hear that note again. Do you think you have a good voice? I'm okay. You know, I sang choir why growing hi- up. Why, you, why are you hiding? Why are you it, hiding it? That's why I was going to. Well, get I don't really sing much anymore. What if we, we get you out of retirement? Is there anything we could sing together? Well, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you guys, we could sing. Uh, you know something. you're good though, and you know you're loved. This well, is a safe look, space. he's right though. We threw a lot at him quick. At least have a like the words on that screen. Why does it, we get the screens just we off? We thought What's about the... that, and then we decided to <laughs> not use yeah. that even once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a piece of paper up with the words. That would be cool. <laughs> then people are like, uh, guys, can I get up? Because I can't. This is the voice of Andrew Youngblood, comedian Andrew Youngblood, based out of Houston, Texas. If you've probably seen me on the road, uh, there's a great chance you've seen Andrew Youngblood, even Rory, uh, numerous times on the road. Obviously, when uh, we've been in Houston and done shows at Seeker Group, Andrew performs there all the time. Welcome to the show. Hey, it's about time. Well, you got a big plug. You're special. Oh, we'll yeah. We'll do that and we'll when do, do that in plugs. End or beginning? What are we doing? Middle, baby. Okay, I like you it. You know how it goes. You know the theme song. Yeah. 
Andrew. Wish you well. Andrew. <laughs> that was really nice. That was Wait, do you know the words? He uh, does. I, 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 there was a time when Andrew was a big fan of this show. Well, there yeah. was never a time. No, hold on. I didn't my fa- like that. My, fa- my favorite line. Really Andrew <laughs> Youngblood's our guest. He goes, oh, it's about time. And then, he, and then he's like, I'm not even a fan of the show. I know. <laughs> And then he was about no, to admit like he it. just got defensive no, and he no, didn't mean I, it. I like the show. I, I did listen for a long time, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what, what, what turned you off? <laughs> Nothing. I got busy. Was it when you was, busy. was it the first weekend of Tux's when you had to take us to Galveston and you found out we were going to a house of people that didn't know we were coming there? Oh yeah, yeah that, that was, was difficult for you. That was uh, the whole thing. Was you were like, you were like, wait, I'm dropping you off, and you don't know any of these people. We're like, no, we sort of know the guy. The wife doesn't know we're coming. And we're gonna live upstairs uh, we for the weekend. We looked him up on Instagram. All right. <laughs> yeah. We're hey, we were right. We're good. We at really, judging I mean, people. and we were right. And he's a great Luckily, guy. we were he is right. A great, he's a great guy. guy. His uh, hotel just opened. He invited me out for the weekend, and I canceled. That's okay. Why so, did you cancel? I just had shit. Wait, had did to you do. say yes and then you canceled? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do I that. know. Well, not always. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I I had to. I forget what happened. Maybe my kid was sick. Uh, I don't know for sure. <laughs> you go hardcore. I don't know. Uh, well, someone, I was in the hospital for a someone week. Someone okay. died. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened. All right. All right. Should we do it? Should we uh, take, take a, a break? break and come back with Andrew Youngblood? What? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's go to the ladder. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, Andrew, <laughs> I don't think you have ever listened I, to this show. Listen, I don't have. It's been a minute. I don't have a great memory. Uh, it's true. I have a horrible memory. I I am impressed by your ability to realize we stopped and you I mean the breaks on your yeah vocal you did a really good job right there. that was impressive yeah well can I tell you something no I don't listen to the show either I get it <laughs> it's hard to listen to yourself <laughs> I get it I'm gonna read this ready <laughs> all right here we go dear Daniel and Rory oh do you see how that's wrong oh yeah Daniel yeah I, you like it the other way that's I get right. it yeah yeah. That's right. <laughs> You know, when you say it like that, it makes me feel like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, I have discovered that I am one of those rare people who do not have a detectable body odor. I have asked everyone who is close to me their thoughts on this, and they all agree that they have never smelled me, ever. In fact, when I pose this question to pose this question to a person for the first time, I see a familiar puzzlement wash across their face and then a look of bewilderment when they inevitably say, oh my God, you're right. You don't have a smell. Interesting. Because of this situation, which I'm not complaining about, I have developed a showering schedule of approximately once every nine days or so. Yes. Put that on mic. Yes. I know this sounds horrifying, but... I have asked repeatedly of friends, family members, intimate partners, even coworkers sometimes, do I smell bad? The answer is always no. I insist they tell me the truth and say, I I insist they tell me the truth and say, please don't worry about hurting my feelings. Just tell me if I do. And apparently I don't. My question for you all, can you think of any reason why I should take more showers? This is the easiest. Hold on. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this, uh, sandwich determinant almost my question for you all is can you think of any reason why i should take more showers despite apparently not needing to for smell reasons i can say what usually triggers the shower is me getting visibly <clears throat> dirty from gardening etc but it is very rare because of smell also i do wash my face multiple times a week and clean behind my ears when i do that <laughs> And I have curly hair. And with my hair type, it's not recommended to wash my hair more than once a week anyways. So that has no impact as my hair does not get greasy. The the only thing I can think of is my allergies have been bad lately with the global warming as it is much wetter and moldier outdoors this winter than ever before. Perhaps I am tracking that into my house? I don't know. Tell me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or... Is there a piece of information I am missing here that would be a great reason to shower more? Or am I living in a fantasy world where everyone is lying about my smell? What do you think? Sincerely, your possible disgusting pal, Emma. Bling, 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 bling,
bling. <laughs> Why do we? Am I supposed to know that one? Well, you could have sung that. <laughs> All right. No, and what's so silly is we have a stinger that we put in, so they're singing it. And it's just to be playing. And then also it uh, plays. So it's so fun. it's even longer. And nice. extremely charming. And very I think it's pretty charming. Good. That's, that's good. Um, okay. This is crazy. Look. It's crazy? That is insane. Well, let's you go first. Well, yeah. I mean, first of all, I think the friends are lying. And I think she's, um, it's a girl, right? Uh, I think that she's the stinky kid. And nobody wants to tell her that. And so they're like, she and asked then? again. And, you know, they just like, there's are like all a lot. text threat. Yeah, I think it's Guess like. Guess who asked today? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, we don't know what to tell her. She's like obsessed with this fact that she doesn't smell, wouldn't, but she smells worse than anybody. Wouldn't and just both like, of you, polite. and I'm even going to throw this out to the other side of the room, go, yeah, if they smelled. I think you'd wouldn't say Wouldn't you just it. go. I think you'd uh-huh. say it. I I got to say I do if fully I get believe. Asked, I fully go, believe that she is odorless. That's I fully believe it. I do as well, and it's also irrelevant to how much she should or should not be showering. So now, so now that leads us into. But you do think you think she's. I think she stinks. Stinky. Why and, do you think she stinks? And, well, stinky. also, do you think it's possible that someone might be odorless? No, you don't think it's even. You possible? don't think it's no. possible. Do they not sweat at all? Could be. It's, I don't know that those two things are necessarily tied yeah, together. Yeah. I, th- I think it's pheromones, right? I think it is not possible. I think, and also, you I, think there's it's some not red possible. Flags you think it's not thing. possible to be odorless. Uh, no. Andrew, what? I knew a girl in grade school, Nikki Trothing. Her organs, she was born backwards. What? They were all on the outside. <laughs> no, everything on the inside was flipped. Yeah. She had to wear a bracelet. Inside real out, thing. Inside she out had boy. to wear a Remember bracelet that? to let know if she was ever in an emergency set? accident. And they were like, we got to go. They're, they're going to find everything on the opposite side. So I'm, my, I'm just saying that to say any condition you can think of a human exists. That was my thinking when I was seven. Oh, when, I, I when I was seven years old, I was like, any, like there's got to be one human that could do Anything. We're not talking right, about ability. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about condition. I don't know. You think that it, everything has a smell? It the that's clothes not, that's it. Now the you're clothes she a, wears has a smell. So, so at the very least, she smells like the her detergent, which would be a good smell. But I don't so think that's no uses some detergent. People, some people go odorless. She probably odorless doesn't. Use, yeah, she probably well, how doesn't. How can that do exist? It. Everything has a smell. Everything. How does. can odorless detergent exist, Andrew? This room has a smell. But how can odorless detergent exist? It doesn't. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I fully believe that she is just, odor- I, I think it's a possible thing. Here's something. Well, she might smell, but she doesn't have a negative odor. I also think it's weird. She says she doesn't shower every only every nine days, but she goes, don't worry. I wash my face every few days. <laughs> yeah, like most, few times a few times a week. That's not well, a lot. And behind her ears. Let's come on. Give her a <laughs> Yeah, that's well, not a let's lot. Let's not know that I've ever cleaned behind my ears even when I shower. I I oh, I do. Either. Yeah, yeah. So this says, uh, oh, I do. <laughs> this is Clara found this. Two percent of people carry an unusual form of a specific gene, ABCC11. That's the gene. That's, I was going to say that's what I thought it was called. That means their armpits never smell. Now, Andrew, so just, you do the just armpits though. Bo, well, bo. I mean, they don't emit body odor. Okay, well, what if she takes a two? Now that's what I was going to say. What if she, she has takes a two? Yeah. What do you? Yeah, what if she goes to? Like sometimes a, shit. Sometimes two. That's what they we do say. Shit. Sometimes yeah. people say things and you're like, oh, never mind. I know you have kids. <laughs> you taking a two? You yeah. taking a two? You're make, going make. one or two? Um, yes, that is it. That ha- you, that has to have odor. Yes, you think? Wait, well, why would you that, build up a musk? Guys, we're down talking there. about we're talking about an unrelated element here. We're talking about her body odor. We're not talking about her shit stinking. Uh, well, hold on. Summertime, right? It's hot out. She takes one. She wipes her best, but unless there's a bidet, there's a little left over. Why is that always the case? Unless just, there's a bidet. <laughs> because a bidet takes care of you. Andrew, you now I know that. more about you than you could have ever imagined. You need to get a bidet. <laughs> he loves a bidet. Yeah, I love I'm a bidet. A big fan I got a clean bidet. But you just said unless there's a bidet, there's going to be a little bit left. I think you can do pretty well. You can do pretty well, okay. but... Can we be honest with I've wiped other? 12 times in I a row I feel as still though got some. the two guys over here talking about wiping their asses are being pretty honest right now. <laughs> I know, but what I'm about to say. You don't know what I'm about to say. Yeah. For... I used to wear underwear, right? Yeah. People who wear underwear, uh, they stink. Oh. Right? Oh, wow. Right? We underwear all, We all know that underwear can get stinky. We but know here's that pants I, in that... Part of the here's what I think genre. We're, here's what I think we're missing. Stinky? We're missing this element, and this is what was just brought to our attention: the the sweat glands that that, yes. that So when you talk about oh well, the underwear stinking. The underwear itself doesn't stink. It's absorbed the sweat, and so that's what's created the smell. What we're trying to say is she is in that two percent that doesn't where sweat. Where her sweat 
no, does not, not generate a scent. She yes. doesn't have whatever a scent. Whatever bacteria or whatever that comes out of her sweat or that would sit there or grow because of her sweat doesn't have a smell. I mean, I was in the Apple yes. store. There was now, a guy who smelled like a bag this of is erasers. A great, this is a great transition because she said whatever bacteria would grow there doesn't have a smell. So now going to the shower thing, what we need to think about is that it doesn't mean that because she doesn't smell, doesn't mean there isn't, isn't the there. bacteria there. Right, yeah, she definitely now, needs to shower for that. I think we over shower as people. I think we've come <laughs> up to, it's showering is great. It feels good. I'm not anti-showering. Cold. But we 100% over shower as people it's not natural and i don't think it's actually very good can for i ask you skin. a question do you think that we should do a better job of scheduling our showers or do you think we don't need to shower as much as we do i just don't think we need to shower as much as we do and i also don't think that there's this world of like it's just how socially things have changed and it's also how we are as people now but like the moment we get like any kind of sweat, we're just like, oh no, I got to shower. I got to get this off and smell better. It's all of like these social perspectives. You aren't walking around going, you know, it would take you a certain number of days till you concluded, you know what? I actually smell like shit. I'm starting to get it now. But we might have smelled something on you on like day one, but you yeah, yeah, might yeah. not smell it till like day three because you're used to it. You're smelling it. Or vice versa. I think I'm an over shower for sure. I go twice a day. At See, least. that's I th sometimes that's, a bath and a shower, which just wastes more water. <laughs> at the uh, same uh, time, bath, too. <laughs> bath might. Save water. No, no. I got how a long you're in the shower. I, think they, I, I think they looked at it and they said that showering, you're usually faster in the shower and it ends up using less water yeah. than the culmination of filling mm -hmm. a bath. But yeah, twice a day is not good for your epidermis. Skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's not good for us. Our body has like uh, it doesn't need. Yeah, you're all getting the rid chemicals of essential that we're putting oils and in. Stuff yeah, 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 yeah. Putting out. Yeah, it's not. It's not healthy. Nine days is pretty extreme. Uh, I think. I uh, think so too. Forget, forget. Oh, I want to feel refreshed for the show. Forget. Oh, this will help me wake up. Yeah. In terms of cleanliness, of I need a shower. Yeah. How? What is the time frame? Window to uh, like shower to shower. What's the window of time for you? Once normally? every. I mean, this isn't how I live, I'm but what, saying, I, just, what I believe yes, it to were, be. It would probably once be every days. three or four days. Wow. Yeah. I think that is. I think you are then. Covering covering your bases on uh, the the harm that like the bacteria and stuff can be doing to your body. Because what you're saying about breaking down the skin, yeah, there also is a a, a reason because of flaky skin, dead skin. Yeah, people who suffer from eczema and hygiene and stuff like Get that, good where you will start to you can build up a rash or you can yeah. build up some just sort of skin condition or uh, you know anything that just can ferment yeah. on your body that you need to wash We've off. We had a dermatologist write in recently, didn't we? Didn't we get like gifts from a dermatologist? Oh yeah. I, I, I mean, when is if what? You're, when is what? You, if you're listening, like we maybe need you to the last year. Give us I think a, they were up north. Give us your thoughts on on shower, or also any of you. Um, give us your thoughts. If on your basis showering. is, oh wow, I look dirty. You've gone way too long. I mean, if you're, I'm sorry to Emma. Yeah, but it the the barometer for showering is not a measurement of your smell, if that makes sense. And I think I said it really weird. I mean, that's I, just, think I think I think that's just so one. So well, yeah. I don't even know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of many reasons to shower. I would I need to shower a minimum every twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. And I am I'm talking about, but like just grime, just 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 talking about odor. I'm talking about smell. I'm talking about I uh, sweat. Don't, I'm talking about I'm talking about body buildup. I don't mind a couple two or three days of that. I don't mind it. I don't mind the hair getting a little greasy for two or three days. I don't mind. But you know, if there's certain circumstances where I really feel like I'm smelling or I have like exerted a lot of like uh I've like perspirated a lot. Yes. Then I'm like, oh well, this this isn't just uh because I feel like I should do it, but like this is like, oh, I actually, I, you know, I want to be around be the smelly guy yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah it's like when someone you know just doesn't ever brush their teeth and you're like i don't know how to tell you this but you're you're a little bit of a close talker and you're not <laughs> you're not taking care of just i know it's one sure uh, you don't have to smell like flowers but i think we can all try to be a neutral kind of smell yeah. um and sometimes i'm that guy you know sometimes i'm like god my breath is horrible you just ate something you don't realize it's very garlicky or something it. um but i i do, i do think we we overdo it. I mean, there's times when I've been like doing something at home and it was like clean out the garage or something that like really I was definitely sweating. And 
ordinarily I'd be like, I need to shower. But instead I just kind of like still just kind of hung out, chilled out, and like just kind of settled back in. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm fine. And I think that isn't... I, think I don't think that has think a negative. That. I think there is something positive from it. Now, I think all the time. Would you want to get in your sheets it. with that, though? I know. That's where you, you get into it. I mean, I got to say, even if I get in my pool or if I get in, like, the hot tub at night, that chlorine, I I'm even that. like, I oh, do that. I want to, like. Will you count that? <laughs> I'll drive. I have definitely. See, now you need to rinse that off. That's really bad for your skin. Well, yeah. You hate your skin. I guess so. so. Well, with global warming, it's moisture now. That's what she said. Yeah. Which is wild. Okay, it's a wild skin. Here, country. let's let's go uh, down. global warming. I got it. Let's go down this. <laughs> you avenue. don't see ever. You don't ever like kind of references that. Yeah, but the benefits. Yeah, of global oh, warming. Your cheeks are red. Well, global Emma warming. highlights intimate partners. Yeah, they haven't showered in eight, that's eight days. You're having sex. That's that is something that well, let's I also kind of don't believe. Well, let's get this straight. If you are not emitting a scent, I wonder is there also something there with pheromones. Like, does that, is there an effect if someone isn't, because that's how we all, like, there is a sexual thing mm -hmm. that's, like, amongst yes. us and, like, how we read yes. people. It's pheromones are very big deal. If you don't um, emit uh, a scent through, like, your sweat glands or whatever, and I don't know, maybe, I, this is literally me asking, okay. but I wonder if that has an effect on actually emitting pheromones yeah. as well. I always look to Alyssa because I'm like, oh, she'll, she'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our, our, our Gelman. I think when somebody likes you, a lot of times they get, like they get attached to your pheromones, right? And like, even yeah, or your smell, or your, yeah. You know, I've been with people, and they're like, I just love the way you smell. I'm like, I stink. They're like, it's just the way you get, <laughs> you're you know? like, I'm like, I stink. I've only showered four <laughs> times today. Yeah. Can I side? Can I sidetrack us? Yeah. Oh, he he does this when you are in a public place. And you, which I rarely am, and someone walks by you wearing the. Well, for us, it would be a woman, but I'm sure it happens to ladies as well, in the, uh, in the opposite or in the same, depending on their preference. Um, and they, are, someone is wearing the same perfume of someone you used to date, and it like you're like, holy shit. And you just are masturbating. I know, and then they're like, <laughs> you got to go. And you're like, get, let I me gotta finish. I got to get out of here. I got to get to a private <laughs> place. Finish. Like, this is a funeral, <laughs> and I'm already dead inside. Um Th that smell, that strength of like, holy fuck, I haven't smelled that in, you know, 10, well, 15 like, years. Sm yeah. it isn't smell like our greatest, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's the most attached to like Sense our memories. memories? Yeah, it's insane. Someone told me once that dogs dream in smells because that's so a part of their life that even when they dream that like th How? it's a part of their life. I know. know that. I know. know. I know. <laughs> you know what's so bizarre is like, I think we take for granted how remarkable dogs are in terms of hearing you love and smelling. Your dog. <laughs> but it's like, it's very bizarre. This isn't even from like my dog. This was from someone telling me, uh, with like, this is from a Snapple cap. Well, that <laughs> flight, that flight that got, uh, uh, that was coming to LA yeah. that got diverted Stopped to Chicago. Chicago. Cause like the bomb threat, they, they had a note or something and they, the dog was able to smell the note and then track it to which piece of luggage that it went with and you're just like that like we just we're like oh yeah dogs they smell it's like that is Dude, legitimately the dogs will like, let you know when your blood sugar's low but i, the, I dogs are doing some marvel-esque avengers level Shit. things Pretty but good. because yeah, they're yeah. dogs we're just like ah they're go idiots, get this. <laughs> they're idiots. <laughs> go get this yeah. you better bring it back ah you did it it's like octopuses too. We're like, let's eat them. At, oh, no. Let's eat them for an appetizer. It's like they are smart. I'm, I'm off. off. Very, I'm off. off. I've had years. I'll never eat another one. I, I'm not. I gonna, they I are. They are remarkable. Their yeah. their survival. The way they live in the ocean. It's fucking unreal. They're aliens. Yeah. It's crazy. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, but you didn't answer me. Eight days. You're saying. You're saying no. Oh, right? so my question was: uh, do do you get in that situation? And you, well, if you don't, if they don't smell bad, what are you? Then what is the vibe? What is it? I like, don't believe that's possible. You're not going to ask. Hey, when's the last time you showered? I don't smell anything. Look, I think it's weird. I, oh, sorry, I, I want to know the pheromone. That did you look that up by any chance? Is there any t chance that that's correlated to? But the bo uh, smell cannot be related to pH balance smell, right? Right. Wasn't that like always that one? What would ad you be your like assumption? Oh yeah, man, that would be. You would think. What would be you your would assumption? Think at ladies? some point, she would have some kind of smell. Oh, down, never mind. Down there. 
<laughs> I'm, lo- I'm, I'm looking. Look at that. Yeah. Wait, what do you say? You said her vagina would smell? I'm not saying all the time. Is that but I'm what saying... you were just getting at? <laughs> yeah. That is a huge thing from. I, yeah, I think women have to deal with that all the time. To sexual wellness, I'm curious. And obviously, like, I think that women. Um, Look, to not get too, like, clinical. Do it. Vaginas clean themselves. So, like, she doesn't need to be, like, doing anything to keep her vagina clean. And, but you, like, and this is just, you know, I know all this. It's for these dudes. But, <laughs> no, it's like a self-cleaning part of the body. But but that's internal. Like, externally, there's other stuff going on. But, again, if there's no smell attached, then, like. That's what I mean. But then like the if, question so, if, if a sexual partner gets in bed and it's just like, like if you, if it's us and it's been eight days, like if I get in bed with my wife, she's going to be like, what in the fuck? You smell like vice versa. We would both yeah, be like, yeah. Jesus Christ. But, but if, if I don't smell. emit a scent, yeah. but listen, she would like, have to have other signifiers to know like, oh, you haven't showered. Oh, you've been gardening. You've been gardening. You know, you yeah. can be a carrier for a staff infection and never have a staff infection. And then uh, you get near someone with a cut on their arm and they have staff. True. So like. If she has a bunch of bacteria brewing Which because she she's not showering and then she's intimate with a person, she could be transferring that stuff to somebody else and causing them a problem, oh, right? Yeah. Like I used to think staff infection meant issue amongst employees. It definitely <laughs> can. <laughs> it <could>. totally. <laughs> definitely can. Totally. Especially if they're sex workers. Well, I okay, you're now combining the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bring it home. Trying to bring it home for you. There's also, I think there's like a personal preference thing. I can't stand when I feel sweaty or like when I feel yeah, like I yeah, haven't yeah. showered or my scalp. Like I can feel if I haven't washed my hair for a while. Yeah. If that doesn't bother Emma, then I understand why then she great. wouldn't be showering as yeah. much. I can't go to bed if I feel, gr- if my body feels like I haven't washed the day off of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a, pers- it, that's a personal preference thing. I think with if you don't smell, you're not offensive to the people you interact with, that's fine. My only thing would be sexual partners. That would be where I'd be curious yeah, how this yeah. all yeah. comes into play. I can't find anything on pheromones if you don't have body odor. Did you find anything, Clara? They're mythical. No. Nine days is just, I think your hair gets greasy. You're going to be covered not, in dirt. Not no, Emma's. She said she's going to get curly hair. Well, she curly curly hair greasy. I just learned greasy. that. Is that it a gets thing? Greasy. I didn't know that was a Let's thing. Let's say it is. I think it gets greasy. It just looks better greasy for a while. Oh, like, you know, like I mean, Andy McDowell. You know, like, uh, I don't know. Very you're like uh, Soul Glow. Very you know? quick. Soul Glow is a great pull, too. Yeah, yeah Soul Glow. Soul Glow. That's high. Close. I know. You were standing alone. <laughs> um, I think I'll go. You probably don't smell, and congratulations, that I, is beneficial for your life. I mean, your friends have said you don't, right? Yeah. How and often are you asking them? Is probably that's the other, a like, new person in her life, or I bet sometimes they're like, "Do I smell? I feel like I might smell today." Hey, do I smell? And then they're like, "Nope." They're like, "Okay, must if be you something else, must be that Yankee candle." <laughs> if you don't smell Cinnamon and you rolls. ask your friends more than once, it starts to seem like you're bragging. Cool, you know, <laughs> have like, it. That's I your win. <laughs> you you do have to ask a certain amount of time until you confidently believe that you don't have an odor. Yeah, I would say nine days feels excessive to me. Maybe just do it because in the course of a month, if you're doing Rory's thing, you've probably showered three t- or ten times. If you're doing your thing, you've maybe showered three. I mean, for so me, like if I three to four is like well, around if eight I'm about to, ten to times wear a, a shirt two days in a row. You know, sometimes you just want to do that. You just do a little. Well, I can't. Yes. Yeah. Shirt off. Yeah. And you're like, I could have. And they don't have. But then there's sometimes this. I've gone and done that and been like, actually, no, I think I smell fine. I don't think I've really gotten any mm-hmm. of my scent into this shirt, and I don't think it's starting to like smell bad, and it's fine. And I couldn't tell you why that is. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's not. It's just a matter of how much I've sweat. Good day. You know. Were you gardening? What if she has no sense of smell? I uh, shower oh, in a bidet. Don't. Forgot to tell you that. <laughs> you so. forgot to shower today. Nope. Yep. Close enough. <laughs> so let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. Uh, <laughs> Emma, thanks so much for sending this in. We wish you well. You stinky. Sincerely. <laughs> sincerely, your pen pals, Daniel Van Kirk, Rory Scoville, and Andrew Youngblood. And. 
We're back. We're back. Oh. <laughs> Andrew, one of these days you're going to listen to this show. No. I'm, uh, On well, the road, you don't make him just listen to it? <laughs> would that be insane? That'd be like, <laughs> that would be like bizarre to put you through that, but then like the level of narcissism for Daniel. Like, listen to me talk in the past. <laughs> we, All right. We, we just listened to 90s on 9. You're joining us for Plugs and Hugs, uh, Daniel, Rory, and Andrew. Uh, my special's out on Max. Watch it and... Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great special. I watched it. Thank you. It was fun. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, it took me a while to find Max because I was like uh, looking for HBO because I'm stupid. I know. They it's changed. It's you're not weird. stupid. They've changed the name and it's it was uh, HBO. Then it was HBO Max and now it's Max. It's Max. And then it'll just be nothing. It'll just be underscore. You know, like <laughs> it'll it. just be TV again. It'll just be, it'll be called <laughs> TV and right. that'll be it. Right. Um, but yeah, and if there's anything coming up and you're curious, RoyScoville.com. Oh, I do sell. I have a tab now on my website for my paintings so if you're like oh i want to buy a painting or even just look at the paintings you can see them there and i'm going to post more um i I don't win is what i might have already posted them but yeah if you're curious and you just want to see some there are some there uh so go check it out if you can danielvankirk.com created by green ivy uh creative that's redundant the way i said it but anyway they're awesome they made my new website you should go check it out because uh that'll take you to places like (sighs) April 17th, <laughs> my special. special, Rose Gold, will drop April 9th. If you want to come to L.A. or you're in L.A., I'll be running Rose Gold as it stands one last time at the Elysian Theater at 730. That's going to be a great time. I'll have merch stuff in there. I'll probably be doing some giveaways. I want it to be a really fun night, and I want to run the hour um, and kick it off and say goodbye, hour. We'll see you parts of you again some other day. Yeah. And that's, uh, that should just be on my YouTube channel, I believe. If that changes, I'll make sure everybody knows. But that's all at DanielVanKirk.com. Watch Wine Club. And also, the merch is back up. If you go to DanielVanKirk.com, you can uh, get one of those I Wish You Well hoodies right there. We just got that back going. Thanks again, Green Ivy Creative, for that. Wherever else I'm forgetting, I apologize, except for May 18th. Come to uh, Green Lake, the Thrasher Opera House. That's my next show. There might be other dates, depending on when you listen to this. DanielVanKirk.com. Andrew. AndrewYoungblood.com. You can see all my dates there. Uh, biggest thing is March 28th. My tomorrow. Spe- tomorrow, March 28th. Uh, my special comes out on Mark Norman's YouTube. Weird pitching someone else's That's YouTube. not at all. But yeah. check it That's out. That's the uh, channel. It'll also fun. be on AndrewYoungblood.com. You'll be able to find it there. Uh, so please come check it out. Yeah. Nice. You did great. You're happy with it. He did I love so it. fucking it was fun. great. Yes. You were there. I was there. They were there. I was there for years. I opened all four of your shows. That was great. It was a good time. I can't wait for people to see Andrew. It's. Uh, I'm, I'll tell you this. It right. is. I'll tell you this. Great. March 28th, Mark Norman's YouTube. Please check it out. Okay. Hey there, buddies. Whoa, we're, we're in. What? We're in. Okay. Hey there, buddies. My wife we're and I have a little tradition of sneaking in delicious meals after we put our two little boys to sleep. We do this so that we can actually enjoy some amazing junk food every now and then without having to, one, be a bad influence on our kids, and two, have to spend money on food that kids when, uh, spend money on food that kids eat when ordering out. We are monsters, LOL. Our go-to cheat meals is pastrami chili cheese fries from a local favorite called The Hat. Or some badass carne asada nachos with everything. Let's be cu- be clear. We overall eat well and take care of ourselves. So this is a legit treat when we decide to get it. Getting older makes it harder to eat junk like that, but everything in moderation, right? What is your go-to cheat meal that is too indulgent for frequent consumption? Love you guys, Caesar. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bong, bing, bing. Bong, bing. There you go. <laughs> Go to cheat meals. I gotta say, I am currently on day four of no booze, no coffee, no meat, and no sugar. But are so you blizzard was, free? What I'm saying is, I'm better than everyone. <laughs> uh, blizzard free because the no sugar. Oh man, I know it's it's, it's not tough. Easy. It's not easy. What would be a cheat for you right now? Then not cheating against your thing. What's something you could have that I guess you couldn't have it? Well, then, no. Right? Let's. I go to a cheat thing. Uh, I love booze Philly cheesesteaks. I just like, uh, I thought you were going booze. booze. Just booze. Booze. Uh, <laughs> Caesar, I believe, uh, is uh, amongst us here in this region of yeah, the country yeah, yeah. because the hat. hat. Um, yeah. So to Caesar specifically, I say to you, if you have not tried booze, 
Philly cheesesteak in uh, Los Feliz. It is fucking great. You'll go in and get one of those and eat that in the car and be like, we've oh. had, we have brought them to, we've, on, on this very show, yeah. I've brought in a, a chicken one and a, and a regular one. And I thought it was very good. It's so good. I love it so much. But I mean, there's also a place like Penny's Burgers that we, if you get the cheeseburger with everything on it, I am not joking. It tastes exactly like a Whopper. Like exactly. But like fresh. The fresh made non fast food version of it. It's incredible. But I don't think I've had a Whopper. No, you've had the Big Mac. You've never had a Whopper? I know. He's got to do That's a Whopper. A crazy what, what was the other thing? I've I've taken you down Eggnog Road, Blizzard Road, Big Mac Road, Cheesesteak Road. Whopper's not it. I thought there was a couple other things that Yeah, probably. But Whopper is I mean, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it is a good one. But is it that good? I well. I you know I, I got a tie to it because my great. grandma used to bring <laughs> my grandma used to bring them to me when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, and so I always liked a Whopper, and it's literally only because my grandma would bring me them all the time. You have nostalgia. Yeah, it reminds you. Oh, of her. it's such a nostalgia. Do you have idiot. a? Do yeah. you have a cheat? I am too. Either one of you it. have a cheat meal that you make. Oh wait, what's your cheat meal? Man, well, obviously you tried to avoid it. You piece of shit. I would do if I'm. It's really like so boring. All right, toast. Caesar salad. <laughs> but <laughs> they make it at the table. <laughs> Caesar salad, but like real anchovy sauce. <laughs> um, two boxes. Oh yeah, I of know. Craft those. spirals. Yeah. What about all the pies you eat all the time? Do you put anything I don't in there? A cheat meal. Do you put anything like in there? Cheat, like I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, two yeah, boxes. Yeah. What? Two boxes is mm -hmm. a lot. That's a lot. Of, in I mean, it's a cheat meal. It's a cheat meal. Are you adding anything? No, I wouldn't. Eat. I, uh, I mean, uh, Lowry seasoned pepper. Would you ever <laughs> add ground beef? Or a no, hot, it or would, then it would stop. Hot dogs. Chopped up hot dog. Yeah, I would do a chopped up hot dog. But not in a spirals, like a, though. You, you wouldn't do ground, ground beef, but you do a chopped up hot dog. Then it's not That's it's not a, it anymore. Yeah, it's polka dot it's casserole. Like, it's, a weird, it's, it's a weird or hamburger helper-ish type deal. What are you deal. talking about? Polka the, dot casserole. That's, you know, I grew up poor, and <laughs> and so we'd have mac and cheese all the time. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, just because we grew up super rich. What are you going to say next? You've seen a boat? We were like sick of mac and cheese, so I think she just cut up. I've seen a couple. Uh... So she cut up hot dogs and she'd throw it in, and then she it was called polka dot casserole, and we were like polka dot casserole. Yeah, I love that, yeah. but I would do that also. standard standard. I wish we noodle, could know who spiral. grew up the most poor, so that there could be like bragging rights. I wish. You we, know what I mean, I don't know. We were pretty poor. We were pretty poor. Yeah, my mom was so poor. Just Go on. How poor she was, was she? She was kicking a can, and I said, "What are you doing?" She goes, "We're moving." That's you don't remember good. that? <laughs> that is not bad. Yeah. Is that yours? No, I heard it in second grade. <laughs> oh. Hold on to that. Yeah. Well, that's you. Have. You might have. I think you're I getting did. bullied at the time. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> that's why I eat all these whoppers now. Look, now yeah, to, to deal with the trauma. The feelings, I have dude. another one. Okay. Barilla, penne pasta. Yeah. Give me a box of that. Yeah. Give me some uh, uh, Alfredo sauce. Yeah. Go on. Is that is that Ber Ber Bertolini? I can't it's remember. It's Mike Bertolina. Yes, yeah. Mike Bertolina's family's own Alfredo sauce. Yeah. You can only get it at Vaughn's. Yeah, and then some grilled chicken. Okay. And I do pot all of that pasta, all of that Alfredo sauce, chicken, and I. Now are you chopping just, the chicken? You dicing that chicken? Mm -hmm. What's going? Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. do that. You'll pants here that little olive oil. This is a very, this feels like you stole this from the Olive Garden. <laughs> I would. Oh, oh, man, dude. This feels dude, like this what guy they goes, make at the Olive Garden. We, I ordered Olive Garden a tour of him. Italy two weeks ago. Oh, uh, what'd you get? That voice, um, you know what that means. <laughs> what'd you get? Tour of Italy. What does that mean? Tour of Italy is lasagna. Yeah. Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah. And chicken parm on one plate. Is this it, back home? Where were you? I was in Arkansas for a family thing. And you got all that. That's one. That's what the order is. It's at Olive Garden. Yeah. You order the tour of Italy. I know. And you got all that. He goes hard at Olive Garden. To be fair, I got it for the table. Yeah. But I did eat most of it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. I told nobody else they could have any. And the parts I didn't eat, I took home and ate later. And also, but no it was one for the table. And also, no one ate anything. <laughs> I was also by myself. <laughs> Wait, but they it was all watched me table. eat like I was a sultan of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> I broke into an Olive Garden. I know how to make it. <laughs> I used to work at one, so I know the stuff, and I know They're where my they keep family. It. It's but cool. dude, you give me a big 
fucking pot of penne pasta alfredo <clears throat> sauce and grilled chicken with, with Lowry's like seasoned pepper. Lowry's is making an appearance in a lot of your movies. I here. love yeah. a cameo by Lowry's seasoned pepper. A lot of your pepper. food movies. Yes, big time. Um, Obviously a tombstone. I consider a cheat. But when I'm at a cabin, more at the cabin, that doesn't feel like a cheat because we're at the cabin. But nice. if I were to do that here in L.A., I would be like, man, I'm not giving a fuck tonight. You know, a nice calzone um, is fun. I don't have a specific one, but the calzones I've had in my life. Mm-hmm. I I used to work at Venus Pie Pizzeria in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Still there. Mm-hmm. I was the uh, dishwasher and busboy, me and my buddy Jack Mary, who's now a chef, executive chef at a hotel in New York City. Wow. Um we would be high as fuck listening to heavy metal and we'd be cleaning off the tables and doing the dishes and putting all the things back. But this pizza place was so fucking good. Their breadsticks, the pizza, the calzone. Yeah. The best part about working there, as soon as we got everybody out, everybody like got around the bar and everybody just had like a pint and we were hanging out. And then we'd all go in the freezer and get fucking high before we all had to do our shifts of like breaking everything down and yeah. cleaning up. Wait, you guys are all in the best. walk-in just getting high we in were, like 40 degrees? We were all in the walk-in smoking pot. And I'll never forget <laughs> this one time, our friend Eddie was the manager. And Eddie was like our friend. It was like literally your boss, your, who is your, your friend, who is your boss, who you could literally out loud be like, shut the fuck up. And you're not <laughs> losing your job. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Love that. He, because you know where the line is. He doesn't right. smoke. He's not. The place is a mess. We've just gotten rid of everybody. Our beers are still waiting on us. We've like had some sips. We're like, oh, let's go get high. All of us. There's like eight of us in the freezer smoking. He opens the freezer and he goes, "Guys, what the fuck?" And literally, everyone goes, "Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Eddie. Close the fucking things. We can't keep smoking." And he's like, "Oh." <sighs> <laughs> okay, but you know what you need to do before you leave. I know. You know what you need to I do. Know. And it was like, we all know. We're all gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheat meal. Man, you get to go nuts. i you get to go nuts. That's tough because I order everything you want from Popeyes. Order everything you want. You already know I love Popeyes. I know. That's like a hangover food for me more than a okay. cheat meal. Smash burger. Like, uh, smash burgers are good. For the win. I think <sighs> I think if I'm really being indulgent, yes. This give is what me I want. A chicken fried steak with gravy, mashed potatoes, like a country diner style. Yes. Thing. That's it's like, great if call. I'm really, and onion rings, because, you know. Yes. I fucking love onion rings. Ugh, that sounds not great. Like, Sergeant. <laughs> uh, not like, Sergeant. Not like, I'm picky. I'm picky. I'm something about onion rings. What's he on? called you Sergeant. As, an, as a matter of respect, you say back to him. Well, listen. You say it back to him. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say back I to him. I love that we're abusing someone who does not listen to this. Yeah, show. but if somebody <laughs> says to you, Sergeant, Sergeant. Oh, <laughs> that Chevy Chase or something. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Great what poll. <laughs> Great, <laughs> poll. <laughs> Great poll. Great poll. Great poll. Was that, am I wrong? Doctor. It's not. No, doctor, doctor, doctor. Oh, fuck. Doctor. Yeah, yeah doctor. pretty close. That's what I said. Great poll. <laughs> All right, wait, keep going, keep going. What else are you getting? Well, I was just going to go a into certain diner. onion rings. I don't like a, I don't like a beer battered onion ring. I want a flaky onion ring. Oh, I like I I've, I've been all over the country. Everywhere I go, I get a side of onion rings. You also a French to, onion soup you like? I do love a French onion soup. Yeah, for, you know I, that's not that I, much of a cheat for me though. I don't think I'm uh, it's I'm lukewarm on French onion. It's oh, a little bit too man. much cheese for me. I ordered a French onion soup. And it had zero cheese Bouillon. recently. And I go, what the fuck is this? It was. Yeah, that's not it. Pretty, yeah, I was like, you're not. This is crazy. That's not it. It was a nice restaurant. And I was like, you guys are doing a spin And they were like on French Canadian soup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Right. Guys, <laughs> French Canadian one. onion yeah, yeah. soup. <laughs> Cheesecake factory. I don't give a fuck. I eat all the bread they keep bringing me. Plus, I order the Thai lettuce wraps. And then I get the five cheese penne pasta, add chicken, or the med- the chicken Moderna and the steak Diane combo. Penne is your favorite pasta. I think it is a. I think you're. I think you're always getting a great bite with a penne. I love. But I love a, a rotini. Bite. I'll do a bow tie as well. You like short a pasta. Fusilli. Are we going to talk? Is there any? Does the noodles ever any kind of noodle that you would ever say trumps those? Like for me, a tagliatelle. I like I'm okay a f- with a tagliatelle. A flat noodle. A paparadelle. Like oh, you like an egg? egg? A paparadelle. Yeah, a paparadelle. <laughs> a paparadelle. I don't know. Now imagine that's the type of pasta, <laughs> guys. Before we leave here. Imagine if you I'm will. never leaving here. Imagine I can if talk you about will, food all day. You don't like pasta. Okay. Imagine if you will, you don't even like pizza. What would your cheat meal 
even be? And also keep in mind, you don't even really like wine. What would your cheat meal even be? Lisa, <laughs> if you don't like pizza. Yeah. Don't and like then she pasta. just named like, like an obvious cheat. You don't like, like pizza? Oh. No. He doesn't like pasta. Insane. Andrew, 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 nuts. Andrew, 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 sit down. This, no is kind? Mo- this is more absurd than the smell thing. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. <laughs> Not, no kind of thin crust, no deep dish, like none I of the variations. Do, I I would, I'll eat pizza. I'll, and I like I this. I just picture Begrudgingly. Lisa, cocktail in hand pizza. being like, I'll fuck with a flatbread. <laughs> <laughs> I will do a thin, like a thin crust pizza. Yeah, yeah. If I had to do a pizza, that's sure. what I would do. If it was forced upon you. Yeah. Or like a frozen pizza feels different to me. Big time cheat meal for you, Liz. Anything, a chicken, anything. Like f- I chicken tenders, a f- like fried chicken sandwich. Oh that's my God. like to yeah. die for for oh me. Oh my God. That's Cajun filet one. chicken biscuit at Bojangles. You would love it. You, t- I mean, you uh, would love it. Country school chicken tenders. Oh my god, I think about them all the time. That's insane. Yeah, country. <laughs> school. I had that I place, like that. and I don't mean to ruin your childhood. This is where Andrew but this doesn't is know how to guest. <laughs> this is where Andrew. <laughs> that it was. I had it, and it was lose not the audience. great. Lose the audience. I'm sorry. That we're gonna go to send to your special. <laughs> 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 Everyone's been to country school. <laughs> a lot of people have. What, what did you get? It's fine. Oh, I yeah. got the chicken tenders. Oh, you didn't like them. Was not a fan. He got odd. Uh, did you tender. did you did you think they were uh, plus they had the sub par to other? I mean, chicken tenders are kind of chicken tenders. Yeah, did, yeah, were yeah. you like these are actually bad chicken tenders? They I didn't like the thickness of them to like the breading. It wasn't great. And then the sauces. Well, I don't even remember what the sauce was, but uh, barbecue probably. See, I'm a gravy. Give me a gravy all day. Let me interject I right there. Gravy? Um, I don't. Know. I don't are, are there a lot of places where you're getting the chicken tenders and gravy as an option? What a burger. It's okay. just, it's, yeah, yeah it's, that's, that's like pretty deal. standard. Yeah. And any diner, if you're at a diner, that's they like what a burger. That's you. not like a known Dairy thing. Queen does that. They do gravy on top of the chicken tenders? Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. I swear Is to that God. maybe a Texas thing? Da- wherever Dairy Queens are? Well, they're everywhere. Well, then they're everywhere. Mostly in here. <laughs> yeah. That and I mean, and you're clogged arteries. I, I, I mean, clogged arteries. Well, well, not like right now. Cardiovascular issues. Not in the last four days. I'm talking about heart disease. Okay. All right. Chicken, but but is that all you had there? You didn't like the fries? Did you uh, get the ice they're, cream? They're crinkle cut, right? If I'm remembering, yeah. I hate a crinkle cut. Ah, oh, okay. Why? A little too much potato. What's your favorite? Give me oh, a we thin. talked about this when we were on the thin, road. What? It, give me a thin. Uh, I like I like a shoestring fry. I think you said that yeah. when we were at lunch. That yeah, to camera. Wild shoestring fries are great. I like going like that. Here's the thing. If you're going to put shoestring fries on my plate, you might as well go ahead and put them on the burger, and I'll go, okay. That's also good. I can deal with this. Agreed. But to eat them, he's right. You're just grabbing a bunch of bird's nests. I like the (laughs) crunch. I like like that. (laughs) (laughs) Give me that. Give me that. All All righty. Did I read this? Uh, I did. Hold on. Let me just get into my future pad. (laughs) Um. Yeah, uh, Caesar. I can't recommend enough uh, booze for the cheesesteaks. Just to circle it all back. But the hat, uh, strangely enough, my daughter's like, she's legit. I'm like, why is that called the hat? Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't bring this up. I'll do it real quick. The hat says world's famous uh, pastrami, mm-hmm. and uh, I go, I go. She asked me about it, and I go, you know, I've never been there. I go, but I bet I like it. I go, I like places like that. And she goes, well, it's got to be pretty good. I mean, it's world-famous pastrami. And, like, you know, she's an eight-year-old. Yeah. In her world, she's taking the information you give her. She goes, yeah, well, yeah. it must be pretty good. It's world-famous pastrami. And I go, well, you know, I mean, I'm this sure is it Elf. is good. This is the scene from Elf. Yeah, I go, it's yeah, yeah. good. But, you know, they just say that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she's great. like, what? And I go, yeah. Like, they just say, number one pizza. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I don't know. You could just, like, she's like, oh, I thought it meant, like, world-famous. I'm like, yeah. no, no, but I go, I bet it's good. Yeah. Anyways, kind I of love a fun, that. I have little an, moment. I have an adult friend that thinks that same way. He's a comic, and he and he always posts. He goes, "This week I'm playing at the world famous Toulouse fucking yeah, yeah, funny yeah. bone." I'm like, "World famous? I never even he heard of that." A thing. Good <laughs> yeah, yeah. qualifier. Love that, uh, Caesar. We wish you well. Sincerely, your pen pals, Roy Scovel, Daniel Van Kirk, Andrew Youngblood.
will roll. Okay. March 27th. We, nice. we just have our pinkies in the holes in his ears. They wouldn't fit. They're small. They, got, they used to that's be his earrings. That's, that's how rich he is. He I'll pays us it. to be his earrings. 